the entire insurance industry is in a state of confusion thanks to the shiny new financial reporting standard ifrs 17 insurance contracts this standard is to be implemented for reporting periods starting on or after january 1st 2023 Insurance industry expert Mr. Pratik Harya explains the need of IFRS 17 insurance contracts and the critical challenges every insurance company will be facing to implement this new standard. Catch his interaction with our very own IFRS and India's industry expert Mr. Ramanujam Narayan in one of our mega webinars right here. So friends, uh, this, this standard, as you can see the, the blue box on the right uh, side, it, it started, the institute started framing the standard in 1997 and they clearly understood that it's not a one-man show. Finance themselves or actuaries themselves or IT themselves will be able to frame the standard and, uh, you know, iterations after iterations and industry uh, feedback almost took 20 years. So 2017 was the first flavor when we, we could see that the final standard came out. Uh, it's a bit uh, complex standard because um, when I used to implement IFRS 9, I used to think this could be the most complex. There could not be any other standard complex than IFRS 9 until I read IFRS 17. So that's the level of complexity it has. And rightly so because uh, the actuarial black box opens up like anything. And uh, there are five parts to any accounting standard just to take you back in terms of a framework and it will really you know well fit in this seven seven step framework as well there is always a recognition there is a measurement there is a treatment there is a presentation and there is a disclosure any accounting standard you see you can evaluate it and summarize it in these five five set of things now the measurement part in ifrs 17 is completely actuarial driven because you will you will just have to understand the actuarial side of it the other four parts, which is recognition, treatment, presentation, disclosure, actuaries will need to need, need to understand from you because you will be the one who is uh, responsible for the finance function and interacting with the business function. You will be the one who will be actually commanding data. You will be commanding what disclosures needs to be made, what reporting needs to happen because you are the gatekeeper. So you need to be half actuaries and actuaries need to be half finance. Uh, that's the implication of this particular standard. So the learning, the uh, Pratik over here, the actuaries will have to learn finance, that is a standard, and the finance team will have to learn how the actuaries operate, right? Absolutely, because they'll need to understand the measurement. Ultimately, actuaries are not used to audit, uh, and then we'll cover that more when we come to that uh, that step of your seven step framework. But just to you know, be on the slide, uh, what we have actually captured over here is uh, a quick summary of what are the critical, four critical challenges that will come across. Despite the complexity, the real operational challenges in IFRS 17 uh, lies in the data. Because insurance being, uh, you know, so vast in terms of the business. And that is how the business is, that you need to diversify and uh, diversify the risk. So you need large data sets. You already have large data sets. They are core systems, which is the front-end system or the customer oriented systems are legacy systems and those legacy systems are so rigid just like those old age uh, you know old generation uh, who would just you know function the way they have been built and now there is a new chap coming in the market saying i for a 17 hey i need everything to be known at a contract level but essentially uh, currently none of the insurance companies in india have Beyond the core system, they don't have any database or any data system which is at a contract. So that is one of the apparent challenges which accountants, actuaries and ITs need to sit together, lay out a framework and fix that. The standard gives you, as I said, measurement. Measurement is the core, you know, because in any accounting standard, yesterday when I spoke about IFRS 15, today on IFRS 9, 16, whichever standard you will read, you ultimately need to quantify, right? What, that's exactly what you did yesterday as well. You quantify how much revenue, how much cost, how much profit. Quantification under IFRS 17 is, is as per three measurement models. Typically, you have a general measurement model and you have a, uh, sorry, if you go to the previous slide, you have a general measurement model, you have the premium allocation and you have the variable fee approach. We'll cover that in a bit, but these are the three measurement models which actuaries needs to run for you 
and give you the final output and you need to understand what this mo- model is going to throw uh, and that's how the the impact assessment is much more critical just a lot last bit on this is when you approach an impact assessment for ifrs 17 you have two ways to start one is either you can start from the presentation and disclosure that look this is what i need to disclose and the next next slide which is coming up we'll talk more about how to disclose and what needs to be disclosed you start backwards you say this is what i need to disclose and therefore i will go back right all the way to calculating what data i need to make that disclosure happen the other approach is you start from the start you say that okay the, this is the standard these are the models uh this is my existing network now let me just you know go on and forget about the disclosure let me just compute what is the impact so you have two two set of approaches global companies like for example metlife when i was you know uh, engaging with metlife in the us they were doing it backwards they said no let's fix the disclosure first and then say what data is required uh aigs of the world or aias of the world said no we will disclose no problem but let's let's do this as a finance transformation let's do, do it the right way let's compute the nth level impact and then see what what all data we have to make the disclosure much more concrete and comprehensive so that's the kind of uh, you know flavor that you get when you implement this stuff that was mr ramanujam narayan simplifying a complicated ifrs concept for you to understand the business implications of ifrs and in indias in such a holistic manner with the help of real world case studies log into our website in the description below and for more such interesting content subscribe to this channel now